Mayura, you have done all you could. Rest now and be safe. Mahabala Sura has brought war upon the mystics, his own people. It was inevitable. He tried to lead them, but, but his arrogance took him too far. Raji must be careful. He may still have supporters amongst them. As you say, it is war. And in war, all things are possible. Beware, Raji. These creatures are bred for quickness and stealth. They are weapons of war. In another circumstance, that might please you, Durga. Goddess of war. But not these. These are demons. these mystics or their chief. Mahabalasura was one of them once. They have been separated from humanity for far too long. The mystics are a part of Lord Shiva's balance in the world. The humans are weakened and the demons strong. A balance must be restored. Surely now Lord Shiva must act. Look at the damage Mahabalasura has caused and may yet cause. What makes you think Shiva does not act? What do you think brought Raji when she was a What do you think that her brother Guru was the one to be taken?
That is a demon battle totem, a foul thing, which summons a multitude of creatures. Raji must beware.
stand on my side. not be separated. He stays with me. We will face together whatever is to come. You spoke of Lord Shiva acting. This is his shrine. It is no coincidence that Raji finds herself here. Time.
Lord Shiva, Mahadev, was it you who summoned me to this place? How may I stop this war and save my brother? Mahadev, I will find my way. The child, her brother, he has spent much time with Mahabalasura. I cannot see his plan for the boy. He is a twisted creature. He will use Goli to defeat Raji, to use her love against her. She must be careful.
two born of the shadow of the sun will decide the fate of many a man. Baba, what do our ancestors' words mean? It is the birth of Piplad, an aspect of Lord Shiva. When Piplad was just a young boy, his father Dadichi gave his own bones in sacrifice to the Devas to defeat the Asuras. Piplad asked the Devas why his family should suffer such bad fortune. And they told him it was simply due to the alignment of the planets. Piplar was furious at this fate and cursed Shani of the ringed planet, whose celestial home started to fall from the sky. The Devas interceded, pleading for mercy on Shani, for Piplar to lift the curse. Piplard agreed on the condition that Shani's position would no longer bring trouble on anyone of less than 16 years old. Ah, this is the marriage of Shiva to Sati, which angered Sati's father Daksha greatly. Daksha snubbed the girl and insulted Shiva in public. Sati was unable to bear it and threw herself into the sacrificial fire. Shiva fell into a great rage and pulled a lock of hair from his brow, lashing the ground with it. And there sprang up Virabhadra, fierce warrior of Shiva, who destroyed Daksha and extinguished his fire. Even, even I could not stop him. The birth of Ashwatthama, gifted to his father Drona after many, many years of penance, born with a magical gem in his forehead that made him a mighty warrior. After Drona was killed through trickery, Ashwatthama issued a challenge to Arjuna. Both warriors used mantras to create mighty world-destroying weapons. Arjuna was wise and withheld his weapon, but, but Ashwatthama did not. Instead, directing it at Uttara, Arjuna's daughter-in-law, utterly destroying the lineage of the Pandavas. For that action, Krishna cursed Ashwatthama and cut the gem from his forehead. For thousands of years, he roamed the forests of the world with blood and pus oozing from his injury. It is rumored he walks there still. There was a time when I was to take from upon the earth as Rama. Lord Shiva was greatly pleased and wished to travel with my avatar in my journey to aid me. But, 
Parvati begged him to stay with her. There was a devoted king, Kesari, of the monkey people who prayed to Shiva for a child. And so, as a means to assist me and as boon to Kesari, Shiva was born as Kesari's son and became Hanuman, who was helper to my Rama. The mystic homes, they burn. Golu, you are surely too clever to have been hurt. You must be safe. I pray that you are safe.
be allowed to happen. Who made this slaughter? Show yourself, coward. I will not let you kill any more of the innocent. Mahabharasura is capable of. I am sorry, Raji. Her quest is no longer just for her brother, but for all who suffer this evil. The entire village of the mystics was under threat. This conqueror would stop at nothing. Would destroy centuries of history and learning. The mystic chieftain was forced to give up the scroll he had kept secret for so long.
I see you now. I'm coming and I will stop you. The chief of the mystics will not survive Mahabalasura's attack for long. She must be swift. the Naga. He is a demi-god. This is not her foe. This is the guardian of the land of the mystics. He's enraged by the corruption, by the taint of this invasion. She must win his trust. I shall snap you to pieces and swallow your skin. Please, Lord Naga, I do not wish to fight you. The Shank! Maybe it can calm this caution. I fight them too.
shrunk. Will you listen to that? If not to me? Chieftain's life was in peril. Then Raji stepped forward and finally faced her foe. She struck the invader. But his answering blow wounded her and threw her to the ground. Her foe was shocked. Raji had hurt him. That should have been impossible. Kolu saw his chance and he ran to his sister as their enemy disappeared. Raji was near death. But here she was among the mystics, most knowledgeable practitioners of magic. If they could not save her, then no one could. Finally, she was with Golu, but this could not last. <laughs> 